everyone, welcome to Little Things. And this is a reminder that you're such an amazing person and you'll succeed in everything you put your heart into. Today, we'll be making a Lily of the Valley. This is a complimentary video for my written pattern on my Instagram page at littlethings.crochet. I'll be explaining step by step of my written pattern in this video. So pause right now and head to my Instagram page and have that written pattern out with you because I'll be referencing all of it today. Also on my Instagram page, I post all the behind the scenes or all the crochet related stuff. So if you're interested, give it a follow and like. So without further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. So here are all the materials. I'm using a 5-ply milk cotton yarn with the color green and white. And a 3.5mm hook, scissors, darning needles, and a puppy pin, which is a stitch marker. So we're going to make the lily of the valley first. We're going to grab the white yarn and start with the magic ring. First you're going to point like a gun. Place your yarn like this and wrap it around your two fingers. Where you have a cross at the bottom and a parallel line on the top. And now we're going to make our magic ring. First insert our hook under the first loop. And then we're going to grab the second loop and pull it through the first loop. And then we're going to twist it clockwise and then yarn over the working yarn. And then you're going to pull it through the loop on your hook. And to adjust the size of the loop on your hook, you're going to pull the working yarn. And you want it to be tighter but not too tight so that your hook can move freely. And to adjust the size of the magic ring, you're going to pull the tail and also you want it to be smaller. So we're going to grab our working yarn like this and hold our piece with our middle finger and thumb. Now we're going to make 6 single crochet in our magic ring. First insert your hook into the ring and yarn over and pull up a loop. So now you got two loops on your hook, and we're going to yarn over again, and then pull through two loops on our hook. And there we go, that's our first single crochet. And we're going to repeat this step six more times until we have six single crochet in our magic ring. And then again, insert a hook into the magic ring, yarn over, and then pull up a loop. Now we got two loops. And then we're going to yarn over again, and then pull through two loops on our hook. And that's our second single crochet. So again, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over again, and pull through two loops. And that's our third one. Repeat the steps two more times until we have six single crochet in total. So this is me doing my last stitch. Ta-da! Now we have 6 single crochet in our magic ring now. To close up the magic ring, we're going to grab the tail of the magic ring and we're going to pull it real tight. So as you can see, there's no gap in the middle. Now we're going to join to the first stitch. For every stitch, there is a V on top, and that's where we're going to insert our hook into and place a stitch. So to join the circle, we're going to insert a hook into the V of the first stitch. As you can see, it's a bit tight sometimes, so you just gotta really stick your hook into it. 
And as you can see, there is a V on the top. And as usual, we yarn over and pull up a loop. So now we got two loops on our hook and yarn over again and pull through two loops. And just like that, we have a single crochet. And then we're gonna grab our bobby pin and then we're gonna stick it through the V of the stitch that we just made. So it's like a stitch marker where it marks where the round starts. Because this pattern is working in a spiral, so we do need to have a marker to indicate that where the round starts. So in this second round, we're going to place an increase in every single stitch. So we've already put a single crochet in a stitch, so now we're going to the same exact stitch and we're going to place another single crochet in that. So we have a total of two single crochet in a stitch. And that's how we do our single crochet increase. So now I've just made my first single crochet increase. As you can see, there's two single crochet in one stitch. Now let's move on to the second stitch. So insert a hook and place a single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to place our hook into the exact same stitch and then do another single crochet. And that's our second increase. And we're going to repeat the steps until we reach the bobby pin, which is the end of the round. And we're going to have a total of 12 stitches in this round. placing my last single crochet increase so doing the first single crochet and the second single crochet and this round two has completed and you'll have something that looks like this and then you're gonna take out the bobby pin to start a new round so for round three we have no increases so we're just gonna do single crochet all around. So as usual, place a single crochet to start a round. And then we're gonna put the bobby pin into the first stitch that we just made in round three. And then we're gonna just continue with this round, placing one single crochet in each stitch. And with no increases or anything, just one single crochet at a time, and then we're going to repeat this all around. So I'm just finishing off this round. So for round 3 to round 7, we're just going to keep repeating the steps, placing one single crochet at a time, and then we're going to repeat this 4 more times. And these 5 rounds in total is going to give the height for the lily. So right now I'm crocheting the last stitch in round 7, and right now you should have something that looks like this. So there's this tail from the magic ring, and I'm just going to stuff it inside. And then right now we're going to work on the scallops for the lily. For the scallops, we're going to place 5 single crochets in 1 stitch. As you can see, I've put 1 stitch and placed my stitch marker in there, and then we're going to place 4 more single crochet in the exact same stitch just like we did for the increase in the second round, but this time we're going to place 5 single crochet in total. So right now I've got 3 single crochets, and then I'm going to place 2 more. And then the last one.
And then for the next stitch, it's a bit hard to see because it's a bit tight. But if you pull it up a little bit, you'll be able to see the next stitch. And then you're going to insert your hook and we're going to do a slip stitch. So to do a slip stitch, we just yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. Just like that. And then we're going to repeat what we just did. Insert our hook into the next stitch and then place 5 single crochet in the same stitch and slip stitch. So now I have a 1 and I'm doing the second one. And then I'm just going to place 3 more single crochets. And then again, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and with the same exact loop, we're going to pull it through the loop on our hook. And that's our slip stitch. So we're just going to repeat the steps till we reach the bobby pin, and then we're going to have a complete lily. After you slip stitch on the last stitch, we're going to fasten off. Basically, you just pull the loop really big and then cut the yarn. And that will leave a long tail for us to weave in later. And for the tail of the magic ring, we can just cut it. And then now let's weave in the end. So first, put your end into the darning needle and then we're going to get our hook into any stitch that's close to the end. So I chose this one. It's just a random stitch and then we're going to insert it and then we're going to insert a hook into either the bottom stitch or the top stitch. And then we're putting our needle back into the stitch that we just inserted. And then we're going to pull it through, but at the same time we're going to leave a big loop for us to tie a knot later. So as you can see, my index finger is holding up a loop. So the darning needle wasn't completely through. And then we're going to place a darning needle into the loop to tie a knot. So I'm just placing the darning needle back to the stitch that we just inserted at first. And then after that, you're going to cut the yarn. And there you go, that's our completed lily. And you're just going to repeat the same steps to make another lily. Now let's move on to the leaves. We'll start by making a slip stitch. So we're going to twist the yarn with two fingers clockwise while on the right hand we're holding the tail and then we're going to take the tail and pull it through the loop on our left hand and tighten it to make a slip stitch. To adjust the slip stitch, we're going to pull the tail and as usual, we don't want the loop to be too tight or too loose, just right that our hook can move freely. And according to the pattern, we're going to chain 6. So we got to yarn over and pull up a loop. And that little V is one chain. And we're going to repeat the steps, yarn over, and then pull up a loop. And that's our second chain. And we're going to repeat the steps 4 more times to have a total of 6 chains. 
Now that we have a base for the leaf, let's crochet the actual leaf. So we're gonna do a single crochet on the second chain from hook. And after that, we're gonna do a half double crochet. So this stitch is a bit special and we're gonna yarn over first before inserting our hook. And then we're gonna pull up a loop. Now we have three loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through all three. And that is a half double crochet, which is a little bit taller than a single crochet. And then after that, we're gonna do a double crochet. So double crochet, we yarn over first and then insert a hook and then yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we have three loops in our hook, just like half double crochet, but we're gonna yarn over and just pull through the first two loops on our hook, just like that. And then now left with two loops in our hook. So we're gonna yarn over again and then pull through the rest of the two. And as you can see, the double crochet is the tallest. And then now we're gonna reverse what we did. We're gonna place a half double crochet next. So yarn over, insert our hook, and yarn over, pull up a loop. And then we're gonna yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook. And then for the next one, we're gonna do a single crochet. And for a single crochet, you insert your hook, and then yarn over, pull up a loop, and now you've got two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all two. And you're gonna turn your work and start working on your piece from the base. So basically repeating the same exact steps as we did in the bottom of the leaf. So a single crochet, and then it's followed by a half double crochet. So yarn over, and then insert our hook into the next stitch, and then yarn over again, and then pull up a loop. Now we got three loops in our hook, and yarn over and pull through all three. And be mindful that when you're doing the stitch for the tail, we're actually hiding the tail inside our stitch. So be sure when you insert your hook, you're going through the tail as well. So now we're going to do a double crochet. So yarn over before inserting the hook. And then you're going to yarn over. And then we're going to pull up a loop. And we got three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And then now we left with two loops on our hook. So we're going to yarn over and pull through the rest of the two loops on our hook. And then we're going to reverse. So half double crochet followed by a single crochet at the end. And then we're going to slip stitch on the very first stitch. So yarn over and then pull through the loop on your hook. And that's your slip stitch. Now we go to chain 6. And you're just going to repeat the exact same steps that we did for the first leaf. And then once you finish one side of the leaf, you just gotta turn vertically and then do the exact same thing. But this time the first stitch might be a little bit tighter. So now I've finished my two leaves, so I'm just going to fasten off. And to fasten off, you chain one and leave a long tail and cut the yarn. So with the end that's sticking out from the middle, as we've already hidden it with our stitches as we're going through, so we can just cut it. 
So now we're just going to weave in the end. So this is the right side of the leaf and this is the wrong side of the leaf. And we will want to weave in, in the wrong side of the leaf so it's not visible for other people. So I'm just going to stick my needle into whatever loop that I can get my needle into. And then I'm going to pull it through. So as you can see, that loop is not visible from the outside, so don't pull up a loop that's from the right side. As you can see, my left hand is holding up a loop, so it's not completely through. And I'm going to place my needle into that loop on my left hand, and then pull it completely through, so it'll have a knot to secure it. And then now we're actually going to weave in. So we're just going to place our needle into the back loops of all the stitches. And it might be a little bit hard as you can see I'm also struggling. And I'm also being aware of not getting my needle into the right side. Once you've get it all through, you just pull it. And then you can just cut it here, but I like to be more secure about it. So I'm just going to go back into the loops that I went. But skip the first loop and go into the second last loop. Because if you go into the last loop and pull through, then you're going to undo everything. So you're going to skip the last loop and then you're just going to pull through. And then you got to stretch it a little bit to make it look normal. And then cut the yarn. So right now you'll have two lily and two leaves. And let's move on to the straps. So the straps is very easy. Grab your green yarn and it's basically all chains. So chain in between 50 or 70 depending on your headphone size. So to chain we're going to make a slip stitch again. So wrap it around your finger clockwise. Hold the tail with your right hand and pull the tail through the loop. And there you go. So to adjust the size of the loop, we just got to pull the tail to make it a little bit smaller to fit our hook into it. And to chain, we just yarn over and pull up a loop. And that's our first chain. So repeat the steps until you get the desired length for the straps. So I did 70 in this video. And it ended up being too loose for my headphones, so I just pull out all the chains, and five at a time. And I ended up using 50 chains, because today I did my yarn tension very loose for the video, and yeah. So now we're gonna fasten off, and we're just gonna do a slip stitch, and then we're gonna pull a long tail, and then we're gonna cut the yarn. And then now we're up to assembling all the pieces. So first, put your tail into the darning needle, and then grab your lily, and on the top of the lily you'll see a little hole which is the magic ring. And then you're just gonna put your needle into that hole and pull it through, so the whole strap is through the lily. And then we're gonna tie a knot. And cut the yarn and remember to tie the knot on the chain so it's bulky and not on the tail and this is for securing the lily so it wouldn't fall and then we're just gonna pull the strap back out and then you do the same for the other lily Now that we've got our lilies attached, let's move on to attaching the leaves. So grab your leaf and your hook. So basically you're just going to stick your hook into whatever loop you can get yourself into in between two leaves. 
so for me i got myself into this one little loop and then you're just gonna grab the lily strap and then you're just gonna pull it through so now it's adjustable so i'm just playing with it a little bit to stretch out the stitches kind of and it'll look better and ta-da! Here's your Lily of the Valley. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or are confused at any steps, feel free to just DM me. I'll try my best to explain it. So yeah. If you want more similar content like these, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below and turn on the notification bell so you can notify whenever I post a new video. I'm planning on making a camera pouch tutorial mm -hmm. as well as a crochet with me series called Friday Night In and more info on my Instagram. Hope you guys like it and see you guys on the next one. Love you. Bye.